Hello everybody, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel Sweet and Nails. If you are new here, welcome. I see that I have quite a few new subscribers, so hopefully you stick around after seeing this video. But thanks again so much for the support and if you're a returning subscriber, also thank you for the support. It means a lot to me and I promise that none of it goes unnoticed. I don't really have like a name for the design that I did today. It's kind of just mermaid gel polishes um, with like a French tip kind of design. Uh, so maybe like a mermaid French tip, but then I also did like a little galaxy pattern. So maybe galaxy French tip nails. I have no idea, but this is what I did today and I'm actually pretty proud of it. Um, Hope no one noticed that yesterday I posted a video that I proceeded to delete because I was like, girl, go take a nap. Like, that video was, like, super dramatic. I <laughs> don't know why I spent, like, most of my day doing that, but I did. But in the video, I was just kind of, like, venting about how I feel, like, burnt out on nails or feeling discouraged about my nail art and I blah, 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 just random things like that so I ended up deleting it because it just seems a little bit dramatic and while some of my feelings were still valid it was just like uh I didn't really want that on my channel <laughs> after I had done it so yeah I hope no one noticed but today I felt some inspiration and this is what I came up with Anyway, enough rambling. Um, in the last two clips, you saw me apply two layers of Samoan Sand by OPI. And now these are my McCart Mermaid Polishes. I'm not sure if they still have them online. I assume that they still have them. I just got them last year, but it's a collection of six gel polishes and they're kind of metallic-y, very fun, summery colors. I know it's not quite summer yet. We still got some time, but... I was just really digging them. They're some of my favorite gel polishes that I have in my collection. I am taking the pink and the purple and the blue colors and I'm sort of creating like a fade between the colors down into a semi French tip. You'll see it here in the video. So pink, purple, blue. These polishes are actually really easy to blend together and I think it's because the actual like base of the polish is like clear um i actually had to like blot it onto some aluminum foil and like mix the pigment and the glitter and the clear all together because it did end up separating since i hadn't used them in a while so yeah they're just really easy to blend together and they look really nice together there are three other colors there i think it's like an orange a green and then a white i love them they are perfect, they are beautiful, but all of them are really, they actually really go together. Sometimes I feel like I look at polish collections and I'm just like, okay, so how do I use these all together versus them just sort of being like a theme? You know what I mean? So a fun fact about me is that my whole entire gel polish, no polish collection, um, you will hardly find any cream colors. I am obsessed with glitter. I have loved glitter polish ever since I was a little girl. That's not going to change about me. So I kind of struggle with creating designs because I have more glitter polishes than I do solid colors. So it's like, what do you do with a glitter polish that's kind of unique? <laughs> As usual, I did two layers of color to make sure that I get as much pigment as possible. And afterwards, I took my cleanup brush and I just went around the design on the edge to clean it up. Um, here it is. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself. I thought that other clip was shorter than it was, but yeah. Just clean it up. I use a gel cleansing solution. Throughout this video, you're going to notice that the fake nails while they look nice <laughs> they do have some issues or like blemishes on them as you can see on the pointer finger you actually you'll see it better in this clip right here there's a little blemish on there and i do not know why that is um maybe it's the way i apply the polish it doesn't happen on actual nails it's just always when i use the fake nails so it's a little bit annoying and i feel like these fake nails just do not do my polishes any sort of justice whatsoever. So it's kind of frustrating, but 
it is what it is. So in these next couple of clips, you're gonna notice that I repeat the same design on the middle finger and the pinky finger. And then I'm gonna move on to just a regular French tip design on the ring finger. Um, so I'm gonna use this time to just kind of ramble, I guess. Um, let's see, what do I have to say? Um, right now, I, I guess I'll talk about my pregnancy, just give like a little pregnancy update. But right now I am 23 weeks pregnant. At this moment, I am about three months away from giving birth, I think. July, uh, yeah, three months away from giving birth. And because I am going to be a first time mom, I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle this channel. Um, I might have to take a little bit of a break. So in the meantime, I'm doing what I can to, you know, keep up with posting and nails and things like that. But I also have a lot of other things in my personal life that are going on. Um, I have some, I mean, I have my current job, but that doesn't take up a lot of my time. And then I have, like, I guess I'll call it a project. I don't want to talk about it online right now that I'm working on with my husband. We have some stuff that's going on that we're working on. And then we're trying to move soon. So there's just a lot on my brain. Um, a lot of work that needs to be done on the computer, stuff like that. So hopefully I can keep up with this channel. Um, I would like to. But once the baby comes, I am probably going to have to take a break, like I said, which is somewhat bittersweet. I'm really excited to have a newborn and be a mom and have my own little family. But of course, there's always going to be sacrifices with like a new chapter in my life, which is totally okay. Anyways, back to the video. So if you have been paying attention to the video, you'll notice that I did a regular French tip with the same three colors. I had a little bit of trouble creating the smile line. Um, it's just because I have trouble seeing lately. I don't know if it's like my eyes need checked again or it's just because I'm pregnant or like or the lighting. I don't know. I, I was just having trouble seeing to like create the line well enough. So yeah. So then I took my dotting tool and some white polish to put a little dot and then I'm going to take my detail brush and brush out very thinly like little points from the dot to create a star. And then after I created some stars on some of the nails I just took my dotting tool and some white polish and created these little dots all over to kind of make it look like like a sparkling sky. You know you have like the big stars and then you have the little stars. I've gotten a lot better about creating like little stars like this. With most nail art, of course, when you first start doing it, you're probably going to struggle a lot. I remember when I couldn't do a French tip and I was literally crying about it. And then I get like so little little things like this. And I was just like, why can't I just do the thing? You know, like it's not that hard. Just put a dot, brush it out, blah, blah, blah. But I would say, like, if you're blaming yourself for your inability to do nail art, it, it's most likely just not, it, it's not you. Like, most of the time, it's not that you're not creative or that you can't draw. It's literally just the fact that gel polish has its own properties. It's not like regular acrylic paint where it's very manageable. Gel polish, it's, you know, it's self-leveling. It tends to spread sometimes and... You just kind of have to learn to work with it so please do not ever blame yourself too harshly or honestly at all if you're struggling with nail art because it does take practice and getting used to as you can see i put some rhinestones down on the ring finger these are kiara sky rhinestones you're gonna notice that the ones down at the smile line are a bit off in placement and then I also realized that I used the wrong size rhinestone on the top corner of the nail. Top corner of the nail, jeez, <laughs> just forgot how to talk. But um, I the I love the Kiara Sky rhinestones, but the thing is, is that they just throw them in a bag. They don't separate them, and I noticed that there's like a bunch of different sizes. Like they look like they're the same size, and then they end up not being the same size. So it is what it is. Um. I applied my gelish top coat and then this is the finished product.
I'm sorry I kind of like kept going off on tangents and like rushing myself to talk now to like catch up with the video. I also keep staring off into the distance instead of paying attention to what's happening in the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, share it with your friends. But thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.